Great, thanks uh, Die Hearts for uh, hanging out this long, warm room and a, and a bar nearby. I'll meet you there later, I hope. I'm here to tell you about uh, Betalyzer, which is an integrated an uh, battery and electrolyzer system. Um, it, it operates very differently to an existing electrolyzer, and I'll explain you a bit about that today. So we're all educated energy and energy transition people here, so I will not explain much more about the market, which is enormously large. Um, on the left-hand side here, you see a system um, that very much looks like a, an existing alkaline system for industrial applications. Stacks that, com better, that co combine together in a balance of plant, and you build that up to the capacity required to serve uh, the industrial need for hydrogen. Um, the Netherlands is the second largest hydrogen producer of a consumer in, 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 in Europe, and Germany is the first. It all comes through Rotterdam, so we believe we are pretty much in, in, the, in the hydrogen capital of the world. Rotterdam is where we're based. In the middle, you can see our stack. The stack is, is, is designed uh, with a multiple of cells, which you see uh, uh, on the right-hand side. This technology has been identified and invented at Delft University of Technology some, some 10 years ago, and has since seen through many research and, and uh, patents that, that we now own, um, come to fruition, and, and the, the principle be behind this concept is you have an, an iron and a nickel electrode. No critical materials, no noble metals of any sort, just iron and nickel, and you charge them like you would charge a battery. And when fully charged, they overflow. So in overcharge, they produce hydrogen and oxygen. Which leaves you with a battery that you cannot fill up, and at the same time, an electrolyzer that you can operate as quickly and as fast as a battery. And that's illustrated in, in an example. So here we've taken Dutch imbalance price data, power market data, in average to average years in 2020, and I'll show you how a betalyzer operates. Under one, when prices are average, and the state of charge, you see on the second graph here, is, is full, so we're charging this system with 10 megawatts. On the bottom, you see that the state of charge is full, we're producing hydrogen. Later on, on the two, you see prices peak. At that moment in time, we can make more money by selling electricity than producing hydrogen. So you see on the second graph, we go from full charge to full discharge. 10 megawatts we discharge. And the state of charge in the third line is coming down. Then prices normalize again, even go negative. Obviously, you'd be producing hydrogen then. It's only when prices are sustained high for more than an hour or so is when you obviously discharge, state of charge of the battery goes down, and by that time you're depleted. You're, you're, you two stand idle just for a second. This happens, well, with the algorithm that we've run over the full 2020 data set, about less than 1% of the time. In other words, more than 99% of the time you're chasing value, either by selling electricity or selling hydrogen. So load factor, which is an issue with conventional electrolyzer, is, is irrelevant for us. <clears throat> now, what does that look like? On the left-hand side, we've basically taken a market leader out there, a publicly listed company that says, by 2025, we can deliver hydrogen at one and a half euros a kilogram. And you all know that if you deliver green hydrogen at one and a half euros a kilogram, you've outcompeted fossil, you even outcompeted blue hydrogen. We can get to true net zero in our society. We, we work back from those same assumptions. And we said, OK, by 2025, can we do the same? First of all, <clears throat> we earn money by selling electricity. So that's step one. And second, we don't pay as much for electricity. Why? Because we cut off the, the expensive peaks. And what we're left with is, on average, much lower. Plus, we have a high efficiency. Our stack is about 80 to 90% efficient. And it has to do basically with the abundance of, abundance of material that we use, resulting into low current densities. So on three, what we're left with is for that amount of money, we can actually produce these stacks by 2025. 
And actually, there's no reason to believe why we cannot meet any conventional uh, alkaline electrolyzer at the same cost parity, because from a material inventory perspective, we, we should be able to achieve the same. So this is me. I'll be around uh, this, this afternoon, uh, this evening maybe at the bar. I will not be here tomorrow. I hope uh, I can speak uh, to many of you. We're looking for an investment of 15 million uh, euros in the second half of, of this year to finance a 50 megawatt uh, production facility. Um, and we're gearing up for a larger investment uh, towards the middle of next year of 50 to, to 65 million to finance a 500 million uh, uh, megawatt uh, production facility. Thanks so much for your attention.